HMRC is looking at the tax arrangements of people who set themselves up as limited companies. Getty Images Elizabeth Anderson Two days Thursday, February 15, 2018 A BBC presenter has become one of the first stars to face a significant tax bill after HMRC clamped down on a loophole used by freelancers. Krista Aykroyd, a former presenter at the BBC's Look North regional news programme in Yorkshire, has been told she must pay back £419,151. This is the first judgment among a number of appeals involving television presenters. Other stars who claim to be self-employed, but should have been treated as employees, could also face tax bills this year. Ms Aykroyd said she felt she had been victimised. Photo, Bruce Rollins and lower rate of tax Many self-employed people operate through their own limited companies, also known as personal service companies, PSCs, which allows them to pay a lower rate of tax. An individual earning £50,000 a year through a limited company can pay as little as £2,000 in taxes, which compares to someone in employment who has to pay £13,000. HMRC, the UK's tax collector, has been targeting people who pay themselves in this way. Since April last year, self-employed people working for the public sector now automatically have the taxes paid by their employer. Victimized. In the case of Ms. Aykroyd, the tribunal ruled that she should have been treated as an employee. She presented Look North on BBC One from 2001 until 2013, when she was let go by the BBC amid concerns about her tax arrangements. Her salary, which was rumored to be around £200,000 a year, was taken through Krista Aykroyd Media Limited. Ms. Aykroyd said during the hearing that she felt victimized by the BBC and made a scapegoat following an internal inquiry into the BBC's use of freelancers. Looking at the details of this case, I have a lot of sympathy for Krista Aykroyd because the BBC encouraged her to work this way and her advisors were clearly out of their depth on IR35, said Dave Chaplin, founder of Contractor Calculator, and portal for freelancers and contractors. A spokesman for HMRC said, Employment status is never a matter of choice. It is always dictated by the facts and when the wrong tax is being paid we put things right. They have an arrangement to do worker services personally for money early. Promise of future work, your contract doesn't have to be written. They have to turn up for work even if they don't want to. Their employer has to have work for them to do as long as the contract or arrangement lasts.